Western Hemisphere. Here are the satellite pictures across in Australia at the moment. That's the reason for all the rain that she's been uh, seeing across in Sydney in particular. A lot of heavy rainfall there. That band of rain extending right the way across into New Zealand. But things look like they are going to improve with clearer skies now moving in from the west. Now, it's a pretty stormy scene as you come closer to home as well. We've got plenty of storms showing up there, particularly across Portugal a short time ago. And it looks like we're going to see some very unsettled weather at the western side of Europe in the next few days. These areas of low pressure will start to move northwards and affect us as well, so we're going to stay pretty unsettled too. Now, central parts of Europe should see the high pressure. That's where the fine weather's going to be. But again, we're going to find some showers, low pressure systems affecting Turkey and Cyprus for the next few days as well. So again, things are going to be a little bit mixed over there. Now, closer to home, and we've seen some rather interesting weather across in Aberdeen this morning. A curl front came south, it dropped the temperatures, they were reaching about 11 degrees for a time, about 9 o'clock this morning. That curl front came down, the wind switched direction, and it's been chilly ever since, and that's the way it's going to be for the rest of the afternoon. Now that curl front's coming down across Northern Ireland into southwest Scotland for the rest of the day, so some more sprinkles of rain to come there, but to the north of it it's going to be brighter, some sunshine mixed in with that, a few wintry showers. Now for the rest of England and Wales, by and large, the south, south Wales, into the Midlands, East Anglia, Lincolnshire, I think we should see a good deal of fine bright weather now, and lots of sunshine to enjoy. Spring sunshine too, lifting temperatures to about 15, maybe 16 degrees in Malvern, typically 12 to 14, near 11 around the Irish Sea, but a lowly 8 across those northern parts of Scotland. So it will stay chilly up to the north tonight. Still some more outbreaks of rain to come through Northern Ireland, through Cumbria and southern Scotland. To the south of that, some mist and fog patches developing and here and there a touch of frost as well. And there could be the odd shower breaking through into the west country as well as the night goes on. Now in that cloudy zone in the middle, it'll be a mild night with temperatures around about 6 degrees. Now that same system is still going to be around for much of the day tomorrow, but we are seeing then some complications with that low pressure moving up from Biscay. That'll start to spring some much more unsettled weather northwards across many parts of the country during the second half of the week. So it'll get windier at times, and there'll be belts of heavy rain moving northwards. There could even be some thunder too. So a three-way split for tomorrow, some brightness about after a misty start. Again, pretty warm, but these southwestern areas moving up into Wales, we'll see some showery bursts through the day. Outbreaks of rain across central areas. The north, again, brighter but colder. And then we'll see quite a bit of rain developing across the country for the end of the week. And that's it from me. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon.